dear students uh, in today lecture we will start from the first chapter lecture number 1 human organ system this is the title of chapter human organ system so first i will define the cell we will uh, explain some basic definition so cell is the basic structure and function unit of all the living organism all the living organism are composed of one unicellular or more cells multicellular so definition explain two terms structure unit and functional unit structure unit means that all the living organism are made of cells it means that a cell is the structure unit functional unit all the living organism perform function at cellular level so therefore cell is the functional unit of all the living organism we have two types of living organism one is unicellular organism those organism containing only one cell are called unicellular organism and those organism containing more than one cell are called multicellular organism now example of organism amoeba eubulina paramecium unicellular organism they consist of only one or single cell while organism containing many cell are called multicellular organism it means that the cell containing single cell are called unicellular and the cell which uh, made of uh, tissue organ system and form the complex body of organism are called multicellular organism now another important term tissue cell units to make tissue a tissue can be defined as group of cell which perform specific function many cell combined together having the same size and structure form tissue so tissue made of identical cell or different cell but the function may be same for example in plants mesophyll tissue for form photosynthesis epidermal tissue provide protection meristematic tissue is responsible for growth so mesophyll cell containing mesophyll as uh, chloroplast and i made mesophyll tissue so these cell perform photosynthesis so photosynthesis is the common function similarly protection for epidermal cells is the common function and meristematic tissue responsible for growth so the cell in meristematic tissue containing the same function growth some example of animal tissue are muscular tissue undergo contraction and relaxation and provide movement of body parts or whole so the tissue in animals for example the skeletal muscle tissue responsible for the relaxation and uh, muscle and uh, responsible for the movement of the body parts for example bones the muscle occupying are present above the bones responsible for the movement of legs and arms similarly nervous tissue form the nervous system so the nervous tissue function uh, coordination we will discuss in detail later in this chapter organ what are the organ so different uh, tissue combine to make an organ organ is structure made of different tissue working together for a specific function so organ is the large unit of biological classification or biological organization that many tissue combine together form organ in plants example of organs are root stem leaf and flower are different organs of the body now some example of animal organs are brain heart kidney lungs eye and stomach these are the example of organs in animals now organ system many organs work together for a specific purpose make up an organ system in plant vascular system consists of xylem and phloem similarly in animals different uh, different system working together nervous system excretory system circulatory system respiratory system reproductive system digestive system 
muscular system, skeletal system, immunity system. Now I will explain the sketch that how the living organisms are made of. Cell combine together tissue, organs combine together to form organ, organ combines together organ system, and many organ system combine together in the whole body of organism. So student, this is uh, lecture one, part one. This is the part one of lecture one, and uh, in next lecture, I will uh, uh, explain and I will upload the part two of lecture one. So the, in the first video, this is the part one of lecture one, and in the second video, I will explain uh, lecture two, and uh, similarly, the second part of lecture one. Uh, nervous system. I explain the nervous system, definition of the nervous system, an organ system in the human body which carry message from one part of the body to another and make feel and react to things and situation is called nervous system. Definition means that the system responsible for carry messages. Carry messages means uh, sensation from one part of the body. Sensation means feelings that carry message of feelings changes in the environment from one part of the body to another. One part of the body means that uh, receptors and another part means brain and make feel, we analyze, we feel and react to the things and situation is called nervous system. So this system is responsible for carrying sensation from one part of the body to another part and then we feel and then react to their changes. So such system is called nervous system. Explanation. The human nervous system consists of neuron and tissue that regulate stimuli and responses. Nervous system consists of neuron. Neuron is, are the cells, spe special cells that are responsible for carrying messages. And tissue means neuron made nerve tissue. So tissue means nerves. Nerves. And regulate. Regulate means activate responses. So stimuli. What is the stimuli? So stimuli means sensation and responses means reaction. So any change in the environment, we give response to that change. So this Response is basically carried by the nervous system. Nervous system produces response to particular stimuli. The nervous system is a complex information processing system and consists mainly of brain, spinal cord, and nerves. Nerves are the tissue made of neurons. Example, if you touch a hot stove, instantly the message is conveyed to your brain and the brain order you to jerk your hand away. Jerk means shaking or displacing of the hand from the hard things or hard stroke. So hardness is basically the stimuli. This stimuli is carried by the neuron to brain and then the brain order. Brain analyze, the brain will feel and then jerk. Jerk is basically the response. Example number two. Similarly, when an insect sit on your arm, your brain receive the information. So the touching of the insect with your arm is basically the stimuli and send back to the to message for you to, to jerk your hand or to flip. So sting means that cut, stinging, biting of an insect. So to avoid the insect bite, you give reaction and then you flew away the insect from your arms. So the setting of insect on your arm is basically the stimuli and then the jerking of a hand and the flicking of the insect away, it is uh, the response. So this is the second example of nervous system. Major parts in the nervous system, central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system these two are the major parts of the nervous system. So now the central nervous system. 
The central nervous system act as a controlling center of the whole nervous system. CNS means central nervous system and it consists of two main parts, brain and spinal cord. Brain. Brain is the coordinating center in the body, in animals and human being. All life activities are under the control of brain. Location. Where brain is located? The human brain is basically enclosed in a bony cage called the cranium or brain box. So the special cavity enclosing the brain is called cranium. Protection. Protection skull. Protecting organs are first the skull. Skull protect the brain. Meninges, meninges are basically the layer responsible for protection of the brain meninges. So beneath the cranium or skull, the brain is also protected by a top membrane called the meninges. So meninges are basically the layer that is responsible for the protection and meninges consist of three layers. These layers responsible for the protection of a brain. Now cerebrospinal fluid. Between the layers of the meninges, fluid present called cerebrospinal fluid. Now major parts of the brain. Human brain can be divided into two, three main parts. Forebrain, midbrain and hindbrain. So we can classify the human brain into three parts. So first, forebrain. Forebrain is uh, divided into three parts, into three main parts. One is the cerebrum. This is the forebrain parts. Cerebrum thalamus. So hypothalamus. So dear students, uh, this is a uh, part one video lecture of lecture number one. So if you have any questions, so comment me, I will give answer. Thank you.